Guta in its meeting with John Mahama suggested some new ways they expect him to lead the country in doing business. The tax system is making Ghanaians corrupt and our integrity level. If you do not go to heaven, it is not our fault. Yes. Because our integrity is, our integrity is impugned by this high rate of taxes. The reposed confidence in his latest policy suggestion to turn the country around. There are so many things that are creating new signs in the afternoon. A lot of them. That when you go to Opera Square, when you go to um, uh, uh, Cantamanto, when you go to Okanshi, in the afternoon where people are shuttling around, that's where we are offloading our goods. And so, it made the place very contested and can. So, your excellency, let's think about the things that create new sounds in the day and put them in the night. John Mahama expressed surprise at doing business at the port. Disinfection fee. Yes. Then, MOTI, import declaration fee. Special import levy. Ghana Export Import Bank Levy. Ghana Education Trust Fund. Ghana Education Trust Fund Network Charge. African Union Import Levy. Then COVID Health Recovery Levy. Then Certification. Then IRS. <laughs> you know, there, there's... there's Overage penalty by zero because it's a new car. But if it was an overage car, it means it would be 23. A team from the IMF is in town for a review on Ghana's economy and a possible recommendation for the release of the next tranche of funds. John Mahama says the country has made some infractions. If somebody asks, tells you, oh, when I come, I'm going to abolish this car, I'm going to abolish this car, and the person is in government now, ask him to go to the IMF and tell them that they are going to abolish that. Right now, our review is in danger because they also wanted to put VAT on electricity. And you know we opposed it. Yes. So this review is going to see where they can find that money because that money would have brought in 1.8 billion. So by now, they'll be formulating another new tax that they can put on you. We must be careful with the promises some people are making. If they can do it, let them start implementing it now. Let's see. And don't say we should vote for you before you come and implement those tax reliefs. The meeting of the flag bearer of the NDC with the major stakeholders in the business community is to inform him on key economic policies to be rolled out. Komlak Luce, TV3 News, Accra.